You know, John, I can't make up my mind. And making up your mind is like coaches. No two option is the same, just like every marathon coach. That's my cheesy way of starting today's show. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal, live and direct from the vending machine at the mothership. We are showing Coach 1159 this morning. We're very excited about this. We're going to have Jim Cogley with us. Let's walk around the exterior because I want you to see this beautiful coach as I walk underneath the best of times bar. Here's this reimagined Coach 1159, a unique triple slide. I want you to see just how that paint sparkles here in our display stall. I'm gonna let you go and get some shots of it and I'm just gonna walk with you, John. Coach 1159 is going to some great customers down in the desert and they had a vision they saw the coach and they loved it but it wasn't perfect for them and so they had a vision to get that coach ready to go made some really nice upgrades and got this coach all ready for the road from new batteries new tires a full chassis, work on it. And so 1159, a 2009 H3 triple slide is ready to go. And I, I'm just really happy with how the exterior came out with, uh, with uh, the paint. The wheels look absolutely amazing. Everything's been polished and ready to go. And we're gonna go inside and take a look at one of the upgrades they made. Now, one of the upgrades they made was one of the more simpler ones, but one of the most impactful uh, uh, things that you can do at a marathon location. Let's go inside and look at the indirect lighting, also known as the accent lighting. Um, one of the things that Marathon hangs their hat on is how their lighting is engineered. Audio visual is one of the best things Marathon does. Lighting is right up there with it. So we're gonna go inside and it's gonna be a little bit darker inside everybody, but what I want you to see is the indirect lighting. It's all LED now in here and it just looks amazing. Let's go take a look. New carpet inside also. So I'm gonna take my shoes off, show you my Smokey the Bears. I got my Smokey the Bear socks on, it's all good. All right, I'm going to let John go in. John, one of the things, I've when you shut the door and open it, look at the, the lighting on the stairwell. All the way in, all the steps of the cockpit, and all of the indirect accent lighting has been upgrading, upgraded in this coach. Take a look at just how beautiful it is with just the accent lighting. And John, I'll let you walk all the way through the coach and get a good look and take your time, John. I really want everybody to see this beautiful lighting. When you're in here at night, you can have the lights all turned off and just this indirect lighting. It's really beautiful. Look at underneath the counters here. It's done so well, and because it's LED, it doesn't. It's not. It's gonna. It's gonna have that pop, uh, you know. So you've got a 2009 coach that's been reimagined. The lighting has been upgraded, also. John, I'm gonna have you come this way, and get a shot of underneath the bed, because that's something that people forget. Come on out here, and take a look underneath the bed of that indirect lighting or that accent lighting underneath the bed. That is a little detail that I really like about this coach is it's got the accent lighting underneath the bed. All the curio cabinets, underneath all the countertops, 
underneath the dinette table, when you have just the accent lighting on, it really stands tall. And speaking of standing tall, Jim Cogley. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Morning, Mal. Morning, everyone. Well, Jim. Uh, Here you know, we are. Someone who's uh, not, uh, who's been on the show quite a bit. Um, Jim and I are down in the desert uh, together. Jim's been going to the desert for how many years now? I hate to say it, Mal. Probably 30. Close to 30, 30 years. years. And I've had the pleasure of uh, working with Jim down there for the last four years. And this coach and these customers are some of the nicest people you've introduced me to in the desert. And it was my pleasure to tag along with you on this project. And uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to show this coach. Um, Jim, I'd like you to take us through this coach, but these customers are friends of yours for a long, long time. Long time, Mal. Great, uh, great folks. We've had a great relationship. They've been down in the desert on and off for many, many years and had a chance to really um, grow to love these marathons and finally uh, finally they made it happen that's wonderful and uh, it's uh, we had to find just the right cabinet look and style and floor plan for them and outside and inside and uh, that's what we were able to do with this bus and then with the uh, with you reimagine and, and and things that they did the touches that they put on it I uh, can't wait to show it to them I think they're gonna love it absolutely and you know, one of the things that I get the pleasure of seeing uh, down working with you in the desert is how these people uh, react to you and they know you and uh, they trust you. Uh, and I know that uh, the customers really trusted you on this project and uh, I'm just so excited for them. And I'm excited for you because I know you're going to be delivering it to them uh, sometime in the next couple of weeks. Right, in the next week or two, uh, Jill and I are gonna head down there and, uh, and take it to them, and, and it's gonna be very exciting. And we're gonna, they're gonna leave it at their home for a while and show it to their friends and family. And, That's great. And then take it out to their lot in uh, Indio uh, for the winter and uh, just enjoy it. That's so great. It's gonna be great. Now, one of the things we wanna do here as we're sitting here we're gonna ask Abigail to turn on the master lights because right now we've got all the accent lighting on. So she's gonna turn off and there they go. The there master go. lights are coming back on. And now you can probably see us a little bit better, but now that all the accent lighting is turned off, there is an all accent button in here. So with one, the push of one button, you can turn all the curios and the under cabinet lighting on in this coach. Right, I'll hit a few of those buttons. You wanna now hit some of those we're, buttons? We're talking. And we're going to ask Jim to take us through uh, the remodel and show us uh, what it was, or talk about what it was before and then what it is now. And the thing I want to say to you guys before is the reason we do these videos is not just to talk about the coaches and, and help you make the research decision why Marathon is the best in the industry, but to see why a Marathon reimagining or a remodel is the best. And the reason it's the best is because this coach was built in this building That's correct. that we're in by, this, by a lot of the same guys that are still here. Right. And so I think by default, the best people to remodel are the people that originally built it in the same building with the same resources. Yeah, the resources, speaking of that, the, uh, our interior design people, our engineering, so all remodels go through our engineering department to start with, just like an, a new coach project. So all of that is is what's, uh, you know, to, to get that to get that look that doesn't look like a remodel, yes. that looks like it, it came that way new, uh, having those people uh, and their talents and experience is probably the big difference uh, in bringing your bus here to the, here to the factory. So And Jim brings huge. up a good point, and I think you just spoon fed me the transition. Let's go to the bedroom. Show, sure. let's start with that TV. Sure. Because that might be one of the coolest upgrades of Coach 1159 yeah. is what the customers decided to do. Let's go, sure. uh, why don't you uh, show us into the bedroom. Go ahead, John. And if you've got any questions out there, you guys, feel free to ask. We got Abigail with us this morning and she is uh, fielding your questions. So if you have any thoughts, 
uh, just go ahead and throw them at me, myself or Jim Cogley. Let's sure. do it. One of the things that, that a lot of people on the buses that say are in that 10 to 12 year old range, uh, they're interested in upgrading the TVs to get a larger size like the newer ones have. So in this case, the owners wanted to move up from what was probably somewhere in the neighborhood of a, a 26 inch TV over here in the corner cabinet um, to, to the large uh, 50. I believe that's a 50 now. I believe it is too. Yeah. If it's not, it's a 48. Right. And uh, so that, that uh, to be able to accomplish that in a way that still allows you to have window access and to open up your, your uh, canopy window there to have that pass through ventilation. And also uh, now you've uh, taken that space and turned that into a beautiful cabinet, which gives you a lot more uh, storage and, and, and again, as I mentioned, uh, to have that same cabinet shop be building yes. this, uh, if you can tell that didn't come uh, from brand new, uh, wow, you're, you're better than me. So you know, uh, and that's, that's huge. When you look at that cabinet, that cabinet looks original to this coach. It does. And, you know, I, our, our guys are very talented in our engineering, our design, they're very talented. But let's talk about the resources of being able to have the same laminate and the same drawer pulls were accessible. Exactly. Yeah. It. Uh, what a what a beautiful transition. And now they're going to have that uh, large uh, TV, and uh, it's going to be great back in here. It looks a lot like what we're doing some of our new buses now. So. And I, you know, I'm a big movie guy, and I love watching my movies. And so having this right across from the bed, right, with the great audio back here. I, I'm I'm excited to hear the chase, the the car chasing from Bullet out back here, or <laughs> you know, watch Three Amigos or something or like that. Or the best that. of times, right? Or the best of times, <laughs> Robin Williams, Kurt Russell, right? That's right. That's one we should watch. There you go. So, uh, talk about this bedspread because I really like how this really shows uh, their style in this coach. Yeah. That, so the owners picked this out and sent it up to us. Uh, which which goes with the theme that that they are going to do with this bus. There's a few pictures and things that are original that they will take out and put their own in, uh, and and go for more of a, a Tommy Bahama look, uh, for lack of a better word. Uh, so, yeah, th they sent us this, and we will then, uh, you know, they will work with uh, decor, decor items that they would like to put in the coach. But everything they did, new carpet was installed in this bus as well. Uh, during this remodel and uh, of course the big transition here on the TV in the cabinet and then in the, in the living room new sofa leather sofa with piping new recliner same same thing um, new carpet so a lot of changes being made Mal is showing you those uh, Roman shades I love Roman uh, shades uh, in I the think bedroom. They, they black it out nicely plus they add some insulation so those are great and uh, you can hit the wall sconce lights there if you want oh, Mal. yeah let's do that they're up there on the uh, Keep going to the closest corner, the lower corner. There you go. Oh, there they are. So that, uh, and those dim as well. So all your lighting in here, pretty much all of it is, is dimmable. Uh, you also have a, a, a nice wardrobe closet across the back of the bus as well. So, and Yeah, that's another thing about this coach is large closets. Jim's got one on his side. I've got one on this side. And then there's a large closet in the rear. Right. So you've got a his and hers hanging closet, you bet. plus the large closet in the rear. And over, over. Lots of storage in this coach. Storage there and drawers and yeah, really nicely laid out. And one of the things before we move on uh, into the midship of the coach, Jim, uh, that I know, I think Eric Benjamin asked the question, and also my mother is watching this morning. So good morning, mom. Morning, mom. <laughs> the when you when you install the TV properly and this is what marathon does really well look at how much window is still achieved here or remaining yeah. so you've got this beautiful oh let's get the right way here and jim already made reference to the the cross uh ventilation in here because both sides open and so you've got a lot of room underneath the tv so in case of emergency yes you could get out um, and also, it still achieves a lot of natural light coming in and this uh, great cross ventilation. 
option. So that's fantastic. Yeah, I love this bedspread. Yep, works really well in here. Very so. nice. Also, another thing we want to point out is the decor, which uh, Jim and I took our stab at decoring, but decided that Brenda was a little bit better uh, uh, versed. I, I think her expertise far <laughs> surpasses ours, Mel. But it was nice that we took a stab, and that's she right. did use a couple things. She did. So that's nice. That's right. That's a compliment to you and I. That's right. Our, the decor that you and I selected for, Bob, for, for the owners, they are still in here. But a big thanks to Brenda Kraft, who uh, helped decor the coach uh, prior to the customers seeing it. And uh, gosh, the carpet really And, and also good. all the work that she did with with the owners for That's months right. uh, designing what they wanted to do. And a big shout out to Brenda. She was uh, great. They are thrilled working with her, yeah. as, as are all of our owners. Uh, so thank you very much, Brenda. That was absolutely. Tremendous. All right, Jim, we'll show us a little bit more of the reimagining. Sure. Really not too much in the center of the coach. We did go with a really versatile shower head uh, upgrade in uh, you know in that in that nickel look so that was very nice um, so the rest of the work again as Mal pointed out was lighting uh, a lot of a lot of accent lighting LED lighting in the spots as well as new leather new sofa leather with piping as well as the dinette and the recliner and new carpet Jim was this material initially Yes, no, that, was, that, that dinette was leather. It was leather. And the sofa was fabric. And so that's the, you know, the change in the leather sofa, I think really tied it all in real nicely. I think so too. And I love this brown piping that yeah. really goes with the theme of this coach. Yeah, I love it. It's yeah, very, it's very nice. Good. They carried that on through with the uh, recliner as well. Now, Jim, one of the things that we did, this is a 2009, correct? Correct. One of the things we did in that era <clears throat> in a lot of coaches was sculpted carpeting. A lot. A lot. And it, it is beautiful. Yes. It's yes. very expensive, beautiful, and it really added a, a dimension to a lot, of, a lot of the coaches. Sure. And if you were doing a custom coach in that era, you could really add a little bit of flair that is of your own personality. Sure. But it, uh, for a lot of people now, it seems dated. It is. And, but not only that, but also carpet wears out. And I love the decision and the choice that the customers made to retain carpet because a lot of people, they decide to go with different different floor surfaces. But the carpet really adds to the warmth yes. of this coach. And I love the decision. It's not bright and it's not dark. And it's got some, uh, it's got some, and John, if you want to get a close-up shot of that, it really looks good. Well, yeah, it's nice that, that they chose to to not make that a focal point of the coach because there's so much richness in the cabinets and, and look at that beautiful granite floor yes. with all the checking and everything and and, and I think you know ha having anything too too crazy in the carpet up front here would take your eye away from the rest of all the beautiful things. That's a good things. point. I didn't so think of that. So a neutral nice carpet without that sculpt sculpting in this case uh, lends your eye toward the rest of the coach when they use gorgeous. Absolutely. iPad integration uh, upgraded TVs in the bedroom. Um, I just, it's really, this, this is a new recliner. Yes. That's beautiful. It, it's nice to take a coach that's already gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, and low mileage and add just, just those little touches without going, you know, without doing a, a huge remodel that requires all new everything. Yes. Uh, this coach didn't need it. It just needed those little things to Make it more livable and more, you know, just that, that those tasteful, tasteful choices that they made. So, what's your favorite upgrade of this project? I would say the bedroom. I, Me I too. think the bedroom <laughs> cabinet and and television. Not only is it very useful, something you'll use every time you stay in this coach, uh, but it's gorgeous and it looks like it. Like we talked about, looked like it came that way to begin with. Well, and that's something... And it's just a nice upgrade. That's something I've said before, and Steve Irvin is the one who uh, mentioned it to me initially, uh, our COO. We do remodels at Marathon to make it look like that's the original plan of the floor plan. Yeah. And that's exactly what that rear bed TV illustrates, yep. is 
it really looks like this was the original floor plan with a TV over the over the window and cabinetry uh, uh, next to it. I just love how, how they did it. They took the time to do it right. The installation is perfect uh, and the installation is correct, yes. meaning it's not going to have troubles. Right. And that's the power of having Florida or Texas or especially where this coach was remodeled in Coburg. You bet. Um, right where it was built. Yeah. Originally. It's really, really important to keep that in mind when you're doing a reimagining because we do a lot of these reimagining shows. We do a lot of these remodel shows on Marathon Mondays. And if you guys go back 10 episodes ago, uh, you'll see uh, Jim and I talking in service about uh, this. I think it's a show from July. So uh, what's that? Two and a half months ago. Right. If you go back two and a half months ago and look at the show, I think it's 228. John, is that correct? I believe so. Okay. So if you go look back at 228, Jim and I are talking about this coach, 1159, in service as it was kind of right at the beginning of uh, the remodel. Sure, sure. So very, very cool. Uh, my favorite, you know, since you picked that rear bed, I'm going to say the lighting because I love how all these LEDs with all of these lights turned off. But when you turn them all on, they're all LEDs. And that's one of the best upgrades you can make uh, at a marathon service center because getting rid of the older halogens and going to LEDs, your halogens put out a lot of heat. Right. And you look at a lot of the lights in here, it would be quite warm in here with the halogen lights, but also LED lights are better on um, efficiency, correct? Efficiency, saving battery life. You know, when you're out, um, maybe out at a game and you're, you're tailgating or something, you don't have a plug-in. So it's nice to have lighting that doesn't suck a lot of battery out of it. And that's so, an important thing to remember. Yeah, and like you say, the warmth uh, of the, uh, the old style is really puts off a lot of, a lot of warmth in the coach. Uh, so you're not counteracting that with lots of air conditioning. Right, So that's a good point. So, anything else you want to illustrate in this uh, in this remodel, Jim? Or did well, we, did the, we touch on it all? The decor is stunning, thanks to Brenda. Yes. And um, I just uh, can't wait to uh, to bring this down to Southern Cal and and show my good friends. So I think it's going to be a, a fun reveal, and uh, I wish you guys could be down there with us when we. I know, when right? We revealed. <laughs> so <laughs> it's going to be fun. Well, here's the deal, everybody. Um, before we get out of here for the day, uh, big thanks to Jim Cogley, but I want to talk uh, uh, real quickly about what's going on in the desert coming up. It's uh, almost October, Yep. and uh, talk to us about uh, the plans that you and I have in the desert coming up in the fall. Well, we're sponsoring a number of events, starting out with a Halloween uh, event at the Motor Coach Country Club in Indio, and uh, then, then a welcome back uh, party at Outdoor Resorts as well. Now, before you go on, I'm so. going to put you on the spot. Okay. So, it's a Halloween party, uh -huh. and, and I hear you have to dress up. Oh, boy. Motor Coach Country Club Halloween party on October 31st. Is it, is it Cowboy Cogley? What are, what are we doing? I, I don't know. It, you know, it, it, it might just, I might dress up like a salesman. It, that would, you know, that would be, be interesting. Yeah, just wear a marathon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'll have to give that some thought. Now, yeah. I haven't, I haven't, uh, haven't decided what to do for that yet, but uh, we'll I think work you should, on that. But you could go as like Kenny Rogers or Merle Haggard or oh, okay, uh, all right. you know, going with the music theme here. You'll go with a music theme, yeah. you know. I, I don't know. How about Roy Rogers, the singing he, singing cowboy? Singing cowboy, right? Yeah, with yeah. a big big hat. You could Gene Autry, Roy <laughs> Rogers, something like that. <laughs> anyway, email me your ideas for uh, Halloween costumes. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Other than that, uh, on the 13th, am I right on that? Saturday, November 13th? I, I think it's either the 13th or the 12th. Or the 12th. Yeah. Uh, We're doing that. Correct me if I'm wrong, people. First, first, uh, first to correct me wins a, wins a lollipop. <laughs> Here's the deal. Uh, that's a big kickoff party at Outdoor Resorts Indio. That's correct. And that's going to be a good event. Uh, you and I will both be there. Yeah. Uh, Pete Sutton from Marketing will be there. And hopefully our uh, National Sales Director, Michael LeBrosser. Uh, will be there. So if you're in the desert anytime between Halloween and mid-November, 
uh, let us know. Uh, M-A-L-W at MarathonCoach.com or Jim C, right? At MarathonCoach.com. Email us, let us know you're coming down, and we'd love to uh, show you coaches or just talk to you about what's coming available. Uh, one of the things that we talk about quite often as salespeople with Marathon is the lack of inventory or how, fa how fast the inventory sells. So if you're looking to upgrade, if you're looking to get into a coach, reach out to us, let us know, you've got our emails. Another thing, if you own a coach and you, wanna, and you, and you want to sell it, or consign it, reach out to us. Let us know that you want to uh, move on from your marathon and we'll help you do that. Um, other than that, there might be something going on in December in the desert, is that correct? It's true, yeah, we're looking at extending our stay a little bit. So. Then that's something that we'll bring you information on yep. and that would be really fun to be down there uh, in December. I've never been to the desert in December, so uh, I know Great that- Great weather. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. Great way. Abigail, before we get out of here, is there anything that uh, we should uh, talk about? Well, you're talking about in Theo so much, and we actually have someone named Larry Fisk who's actually been saying how excited they are to see you. Hi, Larry. <laughs> um, and they were asking about the engine, I believe, uh, or the battery. I need to go and find it now. That's fine. Okay. We also had someone named Donnie Harris who says you guys are their two favorite salesmen. Uh, you tell you tell Donnie we miss him. Donnie, oh, okay. Donnie, good people. Donnie, hope you are well. And then Larry Fisk says, does this coach have a Detroit engine? Yes, it does. Uh, Larry, we were uh, Detroit pretty much through 2012. So right. this would be a nine, and yes, we'd be in a, a 60 series Detroit engine here. Yeah. So kind of the rule of thumb is around 2012, give or take a few months. Yep. Uh, Volvo truck the company purchased Prevo. Is that accurate? Actually, I believe that it was purchased years before that. But okay. It just, uh, w that was the time that the Volvo engine was actually put in production for our buses gotcha. around that 12, 13. So yeah, you, uh, you, you, we, I think that uh, Volvo truck had purchased it back before that, but then they released the Volvo with the, uh, the new DEF engine. Right. Diesel engine, so awesome. So yeah, this one does have a Detroit in it. Yes. And uh, other than that, everybody, thank you so much for uh, tagging, on, tagging along with us. And big thanks to Jim Cogley, who is a good uh, friend of the show. He's been on many, many times. And in the desert, he's on almost every episode with us when him and I are down there. Uh, so I'm looking forward to working with Jim another, uh, another winter, if you will, in the- uh, <laughs> On our bikes. On our bikes. That is such a cool thing. I'm gonna go off real quick. I love riding the bikes around Motor Coach, o ORI, and Desert Shores. You know, that's something that you and I, you had a bike a couple of years ago, and then I got a bike, and here we are riding our bikes around. We get to meet a lot of people. Mainly because they're electric. No. Mainly because they're electric. <laughs> that's right. Efficiently because they're electric. So if you see Jim, uh, Jim and myself riding around the parks on our bikes, uh, make sure you yell at us and we'll stop in and, and see you and, and uh, talk to you. But uh, I love doing that part. Um, yeah. Last thing I want to say is a big thanks to the new owners of Coach 1159 for allowing us not only uh, and trusting us and trusting Jim uh, and trusting Marathon as a company to purchase this coach and reimagine it and have the vision to reimagine it, but to also illustrate it in this video because a lot of people are out there thinking, hey, I could buy a 2009 and reimagine it. How effective is it? How, you know, is my money well spent? These questions come up with people and that's what this show illustrates is that yes, it's worth it. These chassis are designed to go for decades. If you maintain these things, look at this. I mean, what, what are we, 12 years old, 13 years old yep. in this coach? Yeah. This coach nice. feels like a new coach to me. Right, it's beautiful. So big thanks to the new owners for allowing us to do this show. Uh, great people, and big thanks to you, Jim. Okay. So, Other than that, be yourself and do good things, and we will see you next Monday. Look for us in the desert because it's coming quicker than you think. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you soon.